Hello YouTube, I am Armory Reviews 1, or Tom, and today we have my number 4 best graphic novel I've ever read, or comic. So, today, um, as soon as yesterday we had the origins of um, Gotham, I thought that today, um, out of coincidence purely, we're going to have the origins of Batman. Um, yeah, I, I do sort of like Batman, a little bit. I need to get Dark Knight Returns, but that's beside the point. Um, actually, it's not really, I will come back to that. Um, so, yes, this is written by Frank Miller, with art by David Mazzuccelli, I believe. Yep, colorist is Richmond Lewis, and lettering is Todd Klein. I, only the first one really means anything to me. I've never heard of the others. Well, I'm sure I've saw Mazzuccelli's name before somewhere. So yeah, um, if this is the sort of the definitive Batman origin story. Um, a lot of Batman Begins is taken from this, although it is a lot different. But there are some very iconic pieces in this which are basically lifted to Batman Begins and done quite well actually. So, I quickly uh, actually just say it's eleven ninety nine at retail. It's quite cheap, although you don't get much. Because as I said before, a judge, 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 judge thing like that is eleven pounds. Um, so yeah, I'll, I'll quickly go over my pluses and minuses, and then I can talk about it more. So, yeah, it's um. Actually, I'll go through my bookmarks, it's probably a better idea. Um, so, I'll show you some iconic pieces and how real things that make a difference to this. So this, if any of you recognise her, that is Catwoman. She is... I think they say dominatrix in this, which means you don't actually take your clothes off at all. You just... yeah. So she's not properly like a prostitute. But she's not far off. Although it does really exaggerate her being from the streets and being from the lowest of the low, fighting her way up, rather than Batman, who's on the highest of the high, fighting his way down. Which is the whole dynamic of them. And you can see her here, she is kicking some behind with the help of Holly. Who was in Dark Knight Rises, actually? Which was quite nice to see. Uh, where's my next bookmark? This one, I don't need to explain, okay? I don't need to explain that. That's You can see why that's iconic. Um... Here is a classic Catwoman look. I really like this version of Catwoman, how she looks. I'll get onto that in a second, I'll leave that one out. That's my last one. I'll leave that as well. Okay, so that's, that's, there are some really iconic pieces. Now I want to just talk about it. So, this story is really actually a um, Jim Gordon story. It's told f for the most part from the perspective of uh, Lieutenant Gordon. He's not yet a uh, commissioner yet. And he is taken, he's, he's flown to Gotham, um, and he is having a really hard time adjusting to just how corrupt and how bad of a state this city is in. So. He's feeling really uncomfortable. You can see him feeling uncomfortable there. Um, and he doesn't like it. So, you get him here, and this is the reason why two things happen. Number one, which I'm not a fan of, uh, he has an affair with uh, uh, Essen, I think her name is. 
Yeah, I, I, I don't think that was really needed, although it does break down his relationship with his... Uh, yeah, it's just not... I didn't really think that was needed. Um, but it does go with him accepting Batman. Because if, this, if the city was um, completely clean, he wouldn't. Um, and he does say about this somewhere in here, I have... I can't remember where it is. He does actually say this. Oh yeah, and he goes for a, a quite a realistic approach because Batman's gliding in on just a glider, but slightly bat shaped, you know. And I think he just drops it off. So there is a scene of him. Here it is, I think. Yeah. So this is the one where. That this is the one. This is where he says how, if the city wasn't so corrupt and so horrible, he would accept. He wouldn't accept Batman. He would go after him. But he needs him at this point. Um, I shouldn't be thinking not about Sergeant Essen, not about Batman. He's a criminal. I'm a cop. It's that simple. But, but I'm a cop in a city where the mayor and the commissioner of police use cops as hired killers. He saved that old woman, he saved that cat, he even paid for that suit. The hunk of metal in my hands is heavier than ever. And he's holding a gun. So yeah, he needs him. And Gotham needs him. And this is, that's the point where he realises it. And right at the end, there is one very, very iconic um, part which did turn up in... Uh, Batman Begins, where here we have Commissioner Gordon out on a roof, and he says, Sarah's in New York, doing well, I hear. Barbara's not crazy about the marriage counsellor, but we're making progress. As for me, well, there's a real panic on. Somebody's threatened to poison the Gotham Reservoir. Calls himself the Joker. I've got a friend who's... I've got a friend coming who might be able to help. He should be here any minute. Very iconic. So yeah, it there's a lot of really iconic pieces in here, and that's really what it is. It's an, it's an iconic story. But the reason that I don't like it, the parts that make it not any higher on the list, are the fact that I like mystery tales. I like twisting sort of layers of complication and sort of interpretation. I like it being... I don't know how best to explain it. I like there to be some sort of working out. I like, for example, for like um, Gates of Gotham was a mystery story. Just plain and simple. It was just, it was just a mystery book with a bit of origin stick in there. But it is so iconic and it is so important to who Batman is and why he's tolerated by some of the police and also hated by the others because you can see a lot of them were corrupt before um, Gordon became commissioner so they have this hatred for him and Gordon as well as some others have this love for him that they need him and Gotham needs him and this is there's just so much in here that needs to be known for a Batman fan that it, well, it needs to be known um, although I can't get over how much I just I like twisting tales I like ones that you have to think about and are complicated but another thing that I didn't like was how Catwoman was um, I actually preferred her in the Dark Knight Rises. Although she didn't really have the whole cat thing going on, which is kind of part of her character, um, she did... she was a thief, she was a common thief, which for me works a lot better. Um, there's just... her as a cat burglar works a lot more than a 
dominatrix or whatever it is. You, I just think I've got a feeling she was like that to make the book a bit edgy, you know, to make it earn its like teenage sticker. I didn't even have one actually. It really should. You really should. So, yeah, it is so so definitive and so iconic that it needs to be in your collection. Um, the art artwork, as you've seen, is very good and it mixes the whole. Oh, and there is a really, really iconic piece. You don't ever see this actually. This bit, you're. It's all about how him actually becoming Batman. You do have bits of his past, but it's more about the actual putting on the cape and going out, which means that his sort of adventures, I suppose, his when he's going out, are purely like petty criminals. Sorry about that. But it does show actually a contrast between how he started and how he is now. For example, he started fighting like pe petty thieves, and now he's fighting him. You know, there's a bit of a difference and a bit of an evolution. Which it does really show, but because it's an evolution, you don't get the. Um, Com complex story that you would otherwise. So with that in mind, I would buy it. I'd, I'd read it as well. Um, I, I have that problem with a lot of my things. I buy them and don't read them. I've got to get around to them. I keep buying. Um, before I do, actually, I will say it's Frank Miller and it's uh, Batman U1. He's the same guy who wrote The Dark Knight Returns. Um, and I think they are canon. And also The Long Halloween. I think you wrote The Long Halloween, which I haven't read either. But they are three that I, two others that I need to. So yeah, that is my number four. Um, number three will be coming tomorrow. Thank you for watching. But Army Reviews 1, or Tom.